Atif Erikat joins me now. We're here at Algaith Oilfield Supplies and Services. And great to be back. Tell me, what kind of a year has it been for you? Every time I pop by here, you're very busy. So you must have been doing good business all year since we saw you last. Well, uh, Alhamdulillah, 2017, with all the difficulties we have managed to survive and pass through, it was a tough year. And uh, But there are a lot of promises coming. Today we heard uh, a very good speech by His Excellency Dr. Sultan Al Jaber with all the plans and the improvement and the enhancement and that's going to happen in Adnok and the projects that are coming in the, in the next five years. He boosted our morals and uh, he really motivated us and requested us to revise our cost structure and uh, be competitive and try to build and be patient with them and cooperate with them. And we are ready to do that and we were very excited and happy from what we hear today. I hope that it will be implemented soon. And again, this is all very exciting because as you said, it keeps the energy and the momentum and again that optimism, particularly here in the UAE. And I think when it has been a bit of a tough year, we've seen some cutbacks, we've seen a lot of efficiencies, but also I think people are learning from, you know, the lower oil price environment and putting the efficiencies in place and realizing they can actually perform quite well. I mean, are you finding this as well? Well, it's a learning curve. We were in the good old days, very complacent. We did not give a lot of focus on the cost structure. Now we are really sharpening our pencils and we are working hard to reduce cost, minimize and optimize cost by being more efficient, thinking out of the box, trying to be creative in many ways, how to improve the efficiency. Uh, we are also thinking of going outside and I'm glad to announce today that we have started a new branch in Sudan and we had a big contract with the, with the Sudan operating company, Sudabet, uh, cementing and uh, we have uh, two units running there now and uh, we are sending coal tubing units and fishing tools very soon to Sudan. Our branch in Algeria has been operating for a year, it's been very successful uh, so far. We are expanding our operation in Saudi, next month we are going to Kuwait and uh, this is really to compensate on the uh, low volume of work happening across the globe in the oil and gas because of the oil prices. So we have to diversify to be able to survive and to be competitive. Other than that, if we, if we maintain to stay here with the competition, we might be out of business very soon because it's a tough market. People are really cutting prices. Competition is very tough and we want to survive by diversifying, reviewing our cost structures, being more efficient. And indeed, that sounds like a very good business plan as you go forward. Have you brought many more suppliers into your group? Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, this year we have uh, three new technologies and we acquired three new services and uh, we are looking for more and we are focusing on the services and technologies that will save time and manpower to reduce cost. Uh, and alhamdulillah, we've, so far we've been lucky and successful. Now tell me, you're, you know, you've been here always at Adipec and it's always an absolute joy to come and spend time with you and to talk to you. Um, you know, you've been in your flagship position here as well. How has this year been for you? You're meeting lots of people, lots of key players that are in the market. Are they coming here and maybe, maybe more business will come your way? To be honest, I did not expect to see the turnover this year I have seen. It's big, uh, more than last year. Even people who attended OTC, they came back and said OTC was nearly empty. But here it's full. Today and yesterday we had a lot of people, guests, visitors, uh, and with the higher uh, levels of people and uh, uh, companies who are coming, willing to invest and participate. It's a, another success story for UAE and for Abu Dhabi and for Adnuk. I congratulate them for that and for this great achievement. I am proud to be a member of this uh, event. And again, when we look at the great changes of um, at Adnoc and the, the one company and the one brand that is out there now, this also must be you know, easier for all of you to do business because it's really about a one-stop shop rather than running around to all the different companies. So I'm sure the business has welcomed this. Believe me, so far the achievement, the improvement has been, that has been done in Adnoc is really making life easy for us. 
making it business smoother and we are very enthusiastic about it and we are very supportive especially the pre-qualification is one window we used to go around 16 companies to pre-qualify one single service or product now you go to one window you are qualified on the rest of the group which is a great achievement I thank Adduk management for that and I hope they are promising for more changes to come to enhance and smooth the relationship with the private sector.